welcome to week 44. You ain't gonna believe what I said yes to. Ooh, brace yourself. Last week we read Yes or No, the guide to better decision making. I'm a great decision maker, I have to be honest with you. I do make great decisions, but even I found value in this book because sometimes I'm sitting somewhere and I say yes when I know I should have said no. At this point in your life, you're probably going, mm, I hate this part of my life, I like this part. This part of my business sucks, but this part is great. And what the book taught us is that you are living in all of your yeses. Mm -hmm. All the things that you said yes to. What they recommend is they say, we need to say no a lot more than we actually say yes. For example, this hat right here, I said yes to it, Woo! Y'all know I look stupid. We know I should have said no. We do it all the time. Something is trendy, it looks good on the red carpet or it looks great in a magazine, and then all of a sudden, we look like dippity doo da, dippity day. It happens in relationships. Stop saying yes when you need to say no. The book gives you plenty of examples of the process that you can use is a great parable. It's a decision-making process. It's a map. They even give us a little thing in the book that you can copy and put inside of your wallet. It works. You have to start saying no a lot more than you say yes. Last week's TED Talk was how to speak so everybody will want to listen. I know everybody wants that. It was a great speech, and what I liked about it most was that he actually gave you examples of different types of speech, patterns, tonality, and things like that that would make you a better speaker. He also talked about when you talk in a lower register and how you can use the pause and pace to allow people to want to hear what you have to say. So instead of saying, oh my God, I don't know what to do, nobody wants to hear that. Take your time. Work on using your voice ha, 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 and going in the different varieties of your voice, whether it's real nasally like this, or you talk from your throat like this, or you use your diaphragm and people can understand what you're saying. It was a TED Talk that was only 10 minutes, but I thought it was well worth it. You guys should check it out, especially if you find that people aren't listening to you. What book do we have this week? Oh my goodness, it's a doozy. Chasing Skinny Rabbits. Mmm, Skinny Rabbits distract you from everything that you want, your goals, your ambition, great relationships, careers. Oh, Skinny Rabbits, tricks are for kids. We're gonna find out a lot about Skinny Rabbits. This week's TED Talk is Lessons in Business. Wait for it, from prison. Huh? Hey, you know me, I'll take knowledge from anywhere. I'll take it wherever I can get it as long as it's useful. That's all for this week, but before we go, that link below, you know you better sign up so you don't have to be average. Mm -hmm. Click it, click it, click it, click it, click it, click, click, click. Thank you for joining this week. And as I always say, when you can see it and you can read it, then you can believe it and most certainly you can achieve it. From here to the Gallic Sphere. I'll see you guys next week. Au revoir.